G'day, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you in Archicad 25 how we do walls and doors and windows uh, on our project that we started in the last video. So I won't show every little bit, um, the hope is I'll show you enough so that you can then go off and do it. Okay, so first things first, um, last video we put in this slab and, and the ground. Now when I go to my ground floor my image has disappeared so I need that. So what I can do is if I hover, hover over this you'll see that slabs highlighted. If I press the tab button it'll cycle through and I can select what I actually want. So I'm going to select figure and I'm, I'm going to right click and I just need to change this display order and I want to bring it to the front. Awesome. There's my my floor plan. Okay so a couple of things that I probably need to figure out. Um, I'll do the exterior walls first. Uh, and a couple of things to point out is that there's this porch here, so there's one, two columns here that we want to put in, uh, as well as in this alfresco area there's a column, so I'll show you how to do that at the end, but we'll do the um, these exterior walls, and then we'll do a, a couple of the internal walls, and then um, you can have some creativity with how that's going to look, uh, and I'll show you how to put in the doors and windows. So in terms of the walls, let's click on this wall tool. Um, when we click on the wall tool, we should press escape a few times if you need to. There we go. Um, what I'm going to do is just press this little button here, holding it down. I need to go to this polygonal selection. And the reason being that if I don't have that selected, um, it'll just draw one line at a time. And that's not really what I want, want to do. Okay, so I'm going to go, starting at this point, uh, it kind of could just be anywhere. I've just decided to go here. Now my mouse has snapped to this point and that's because this is where my slab is. So. Um, just working my way around. Uh, I could zoom out and do this a little bit easier. Instead I'll use my scroll wheel to zoom in, in and out as I need to. Okay. But if I zoomed in too far I wouldn't be able to see this detail for example. Um, here I've got to do a little bit of a guess but that's okay. I can modify these walls if I need to. Okay, this is riveting to watch, so we, uh, I was obviously not very accurate with my slab, hopefully you are a little bit more accurate than I am, um, but again we can we can manipulate these things later if we need to. So I want that to this corner there, and just about finished, and this should automatically finish when I get there. So you see that little, um, my mouse turned into a hammer, and that means it's going to finish automatically. Great, now if I go to generic perspective, I can see what that looks like. Okay, so I've got a grey uh, house, doesn't look super special. Um, if I go up the top, I can see it's on the ground floor, which is great, and it's connected to the first floor, which is perfect. What I'm going to do is click here, and this is the, the type of wall that it is. I'm just going to change it. Um, I think I might do a 270mm thick cavity brick wall. Let's see how that looks. That looks alright. Um, again, we can have a bit of a look around. Um, what might this one look like? Uh, that, actually that might work a little bit better. Brick on the outside, insulated. Uh, brick veneer insulated with studs. Great. And if we go to our ground floor, um, we won't really see it per se, but it's there. Um, so now that I've got this, this drawn out, um, ironically I've brought this forward so I can't see my walls, so I might just right click on my figure and display order and send it um, backward a little bit so I can see my walls and I can't see them yet so I might just do that again so I have to right click display order and send backwards if I need to I can send it all the way back but I might then lose it okay so I can see my walls so I just need to bring it forward bring it forward okay I'm just gonna have to live with that for now so I'll just do um, I might do these columns next. So I'll just show how to do one column. So again, just have nothing selected. Click on the column. Um, as with everything in ArchiCAD, if we press Control T, we get a heap of options to, to modify things. So this is going to be 300 by 300 by default. So if I just plonk that down here. Um, that's right. With my image taking over, which is a bit annoying. I can see that that is not ideal. So I'm going to just grab this and move it up to the corner. Perfect. Alright. Th well, I mean, 
I'll just bring that image back over and we'll see. I don't normally have this problem with having to move the um, the the image in and out, but that's all right. So figure, display auto, send it to the back. What I'm looking for is just to make sure that's over over the whole size as per my um, image. So I'm bringing this image to the front. Okay, I'm going to expand my column, and if I press, I can press Control T or up the top. I can just do this. Um, there's some quick options up here. Might try this at 600. Uh, not quite, so maybe 450. There we go. And I'll zoom in and move that to the right spot. Okay. Oops. Great. So with that, I'll, I'll need to do the same uh, at the front, and I'll let you do that as you get to it. Uh, the other thing I'll show you is our internal wall. So if we click the wall tool again, uh, the polygonal is okay, but you might get lost. So I'd probably encourage you to um, just hold down the triangle expanding out and just do single lines. And I'd also probably say we want to do maybe a, uh, let's look at a 90 mil, I think. 90 mil block wall internal should suffice. And we can just do one wall at a time. So I can snap to my wall, oops. If you see that you've got your wall and it's drawing upside down, what you can do is change this outside face to being the inside face. Nice little trick. I'm gonna have the same issue here, I think. Okay, great. Where possible, I wanna do long walls like this. And if I hold down the shift button, I can just come all the way down. Now there's actually a bit of a misalignment with this house, so, I need to figure out where I want to where I want to take that to. I might do it here, okay, and then come across here. It's going to be a bit of a tricky intersection here as well, um, which I'll just have to manipulate once I get rid of um, my image so I can see everything all at once. All right. So what does this look like when I get rid of my image? So I'll select my image and just send it to the back so it's out of the way, and I can just see I've got an internal couple of walls, one, two, three, leading into my exterior wall. Um, I might just select this wall and I'll see if I can bring it back to that point. I should be able to do a line junction there in a moment. And I might just see if I can ex stretch this down a fraction by selecting this line, pulling that down momentarily and then getting this end point. Now, it's really important that I work uh, I want to be square with what I'm doing with my work. And if it's not square, it's going to be a funny house. So, hold down the shift button, and I'll try and get that square. Alright, that's going to be a little bit more fiddly, but that's okay. I'll let you guys fix that up as you get to it. Okay. So, when we've got this junction, that's great. Now, let's bring back our image. Oops. Just pressing the tab to get the right um, thing selected, display order, bring that to the front again. So what I might do is I might put a door here. This goes from the garage into the laundry. I'll put a garage door in and I'll put a front door in and I might put in um, maybe these two windows just to show you what we're doing. Okay, so in terms of doing the door, I just need to come over to the left hand side and I can put the select the door tool and I might even just place it where I want it straight up. So let's start with the garage door. If I click here and on this wall, and it's going to ask where do I want the sun. The sun is, you know, the exterior of the house. So I'll do it this way. And I can just do a few doors at once. Line up to this side. And I'll do another door here, as I said. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is get this image out of the way. Go away, thank you. So if I go to my um, 3D view, it's often handy just to toggle this view and see what's going on. Um, you may or may not know in the bottom left corner there's this little little person and we can click on this, explore. Uh, it just gives us our command so it makes it a first person shooter. Uh, and you can tick that box so you don't see it again. So it's W, A, S and D to move around and if you hold down the shift you can run. Okay. 
So we've got a house, we've got some doors. Um, we need to make this a garage door. So select this door and we can press Control T. And appropriately, the library for doors opens up and we're looking for a garage door. And then, I'll just expand this a bit. Um, you can use whatever door you'd like. I might do this, let's do this one. Um, with the doors, there is a gazillion options we can do. Um, I'll try not to go into too much depth, otherwise we'll get lost at this point in time. So I'm just going to put a garage door. Bang. Okay. It's in the wrong spot, so I need to go back to my um, floor plan. I can move my door um, in the 3D view, but it gets pretty messy. Okay. So I'm going to put it about here. And now with this door selected, I might go back to the 3D view so I can see what's going on. And uh, up here I can just modify this. So. Let's just change it from 2,500 to 2.5 two meters. Let's make it 4,000 and see what happens. Uh, and we're changing this A dimension. Okay, that's looking pretty good already. Um, in fact, I might even just grab that and move it over slightly. And I'll almost be happy with that. It's probably a 5,000 dimension that we need for this double door. Uh, as I said, be mindful of doing things in 3D because it can get it can get messy really quickly. Okay, so next, just while I've got this door, I'll show you how I can open it. So if I press Control T again and get back into the the settings, uh, might as well chuck a handle on. Uh, actually, no, it's a garage door; it doesn't need it. If I go to these door settings and openings, and I just press these this right button, I'm going to keep coming up with a heap of options. Essentially, what I'm looking for is a 3D. Uh, opening. So in this case it will be a height. Um, I might open it so it's one meter open. Awesome. That's something that we'll need when we do fly-throughs. Okay, so that's one door. Let's just quickly repeat. So this is my front door. Let's just make it decorative. So uh, I'll just pivot my view, my view. So I'm holding down the shift button in my scroll wheel. Select this door. Press Control T. Uh, in this case I'm looking for um, just any door I'd like to work with, really. Um, this looks good. So I think I did have the door swinging into the left wall. I think the door opens here with a transom. Um, this one looks pretty good. Uh, I can change the decorative style of it. So let's just make it the prairie style. Just find the most ugly thing that we can, and I'll put a handle on it. And we'll press OK. All right. Nice one, apart from it's backwards. So I'll press Control T and I'll put the transom on the other side. And let's do a HV grid with some other handle. There we go. Now I can just um, go to my ground view and I can just grab my door and move it over so it's in the right spot. As in, it pretty much takes up that whole wall. All right, now this custom text, I don't need to see that. Um, but I'm not going to go in and worry about opening that. Um, so when we get in here, as I said, heap of options. We can change every dimension, essentially, um, which is great and bad. The reason being is that we can get lost in how much we're doing. All right, so what I'm going to do is just do a 3D opening of, let's say, 70 um, degrees. And with that, our door will be open. However, it's opening the wrong way. So let's flip that up here. And now we've got our door the right way. And let's just go to our 3D view. Awesome. Uh, pretty much we'll do the same thing, except we'll pick a different type of door for that. So I won't repeat that process, just to try and get this video happening a bit quicker. Uh, so next up, let's put a couple of windows in. I think we had one up here, front big bay window, and more a side window over here. So again, find my image, right-click display auto, and bring it to the front. Now, in this time, I need to click my window tool. Window tool. Uh, and I'll just bang in two windows again. Um, sun facing, sun facing, and I can go back to my generic view. And this is what I've what I've got. Um, so you know, already it's starting to come to life pretty quick. But I can select this window, and as with everything in Archiad, there is a gazillion different things we can do. 
Now this is the front of the house, so we might as well make it look nice. Um, might try doing this splay bay window. Um, and we can see it's going to be three meters wide. Um, so I think that might be might be nice. Yeah, nice one. So it's not going to work very well from here. Again, normally done best in in the um, in our ground view just so we can get everything lined up. I'm just doing this since I'm having the issues with my um, with getting my drawing visible. Okay, that looks good. And in this, let's pretend that we want to get a different window here. So again, I press Control T and I think there's too many things going on here. What other windows have I got? Single, double hung, uh, or a sliding window. There we go. Let's just do a simple two slash, and it's going to be one and a half meters um, wide, and it'll be the glass will be one and a half meters tall. Great. Um, with this again, same as the doors, I can press Control T and go into the opening and just keep ticking through here, or I can, um, when I press right, I'm just progressing down slowly. Okay, and what I'm looking for is opening. Might as well put a grid on, um, just to show you that we can more so than because we want to. Uh, here we go, opening, side one, and we're worried about the 3D opening. Side one, I don't know what the values are going to be, so let's do 300 and zero, and we should see one side open up. Beautiful. Um, cool. So I think that will do us for now. Uh, you need to go ahead and put in all of the internal walls and all of the doors and windows, make it your own. Um, and next video, we'll probably put a roof and ceiling on uh, and then maybe even start looking at, at furniture and objects. Thank you very much.